Hello, I'm Christina from Milan Creative Co and in this tutorial I will show you how to make a custom confetti brush using Photoshop. First we are going to create a simple confetti brush using the basic Photoshop brushes and after that we are going to make our own custom brushes. So open Photoshop and let's get started. Select your favorite foreground and background colors. You are going to need this later because you are going to create colorful confetti brushes. Now select the brush tool, the shortcut is B, if you can see it, it might be under the pencil tool. Set the size of the brush, I'm going to use a 30 pixel brush, but you might need a bigger or smaller one. So this is how my brush looks. We are going to use the brush menu to create a confetti brush, so go to window brush or press F5 to open the brush menu. The first thing we are going to change is the brush tip shape. You can see here in the preview box that this is how our brush looks now. If we increase the spacing, we are going to have a string of dots instead of a continuous line. So I think I'm going to leave it at 130%. Uh, so this is our brush now. I want my dots to have different sizes, so I'm going to change the shape dynamics. Just increase the size and you can see that you now have larger and smaller confetti. If you change the roundness, you will have oval confetti as well as round confetti. And you can also change the angle. This works better if you have a triangle or a rectangle confetti. I'm just going to leave the angle around this at 0% for now. So this is how our brush looks now. You might need to increase the spacing if uh, your dots are too close to each other. So let's see. This is much better. If you want to create a confetti brush, you will have to change the scattering. So if you increase the scatter, you will see that the dots start to move away from each other. If you want them to move in all directions, select both axes. And the count number is the number of dots you will see on one click. So if we click here now, you can see that there are four dots. So let's use a count of three dots. Uh, move the scatter all the way to 1000% and maybe increase the count jitter. I think 25% is enough. Now if you draw, you can see these are your confetti. You will have to change these values until you get the right look for your confetti. Uh, you might also need to um, increase the spacing again. This probably looks better. I also love the fact that they overlap, but I think they will look better if we change uh, the transparency. So go to transfer and increase the flow jitter. I'm going to use 30%. You can see here that they are transparent and you can see where they overlap. If you want colorful confetti, you will have to change the color dynamics. Make sure apply per tip is selected to color each dot. I like to keep the foreground background jitter to around 50%. Uh, this means that uh, the, the confetti will be colored using the foreground and background colors that I have selected at the beginning of this tutorial. If you change the background color, for example, to this dark blue, you can see that we actually have uh, various shades of uh, purple. You can also change the hue jitter. Uh, let's also increase it to 50%. And you can see now that besides the purples, you will also have yellows and browns. If you want vibrant colors, all you have to do is increase the saturation. So let's bring it all the way to 100%. And as you can see, we have really colorful confetti now. Now I'm going to close this and show you how to create confetti from custom brushes. I'm going to use the pen tool, the shortcut is P and make sure it's set to shape, not path or pixels. To create a brush, you will need to draw using black or different shades of gray. I'm actually going to use a different shade of gray for each shape. So just start drawing. If you 
you're happy with your shapes, just go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. Give your brush a new name and press OK to save it. Now I'm going to delete these layers and then go to the brush tool. As you can see, our brushes are very big, so I am going to resize them. You can also use the brackets keys to resize the brushes. So uh, because I've used different shades of grey, uh, my brush will have different colors starting from uh, the foreground color. This is what happens if you try to draw using this brush. This is very ugly so we'll have to go back to the brush settings. The first thing we are going to change is the brush tip shape. So select it and then increase the spacing. I'm not going to move the slider all the way to 100%. I I think I'm going to leave it at 50%. Then I'm going to change the shape dynamics. I will only change the angle. I don't want to have many repeats, so I will uh, rotate some of the brushes. Now I'm going to increase the scatter a bit, but maybe just about 25%. I'm also going to uh, change the transparency, this will be 32% just like last time, and the color dynamics. Uh, the settings are the same as our previous brush, so let's see what we have. This is actually very pretty. Even though I love this brush, I think I'm going to go back and change uh, the spacing, maybe lower it a bit. So let's test our brush. I really love this brush and I hope you do too. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel or visit my blog for more Photoshop and Illustrator tutorials. Thanks for watching!